just like that. You see these little two prongs, there's one on each side for the end of the belt. Just place it right in there, okay? And then once you have that adjusted, you can have the belt adjusted so it's flat, so it's nice and flat and tight. It's nice and, and adjusted where the belt is flat. You will tighten the screws. Now is where you tighten the screws. All right? Keep it nice and tight and snug in there. All right? Now after that, after you get them nice and tight and your belt is adjusted and you have the wheel attached, and you have the action attached, and you have the XC connection bracket with the motor attached. This is where the XC connection bracket without the motor is going to be placed on. And just like the first bracket, you're going to want to find this big hole right here. All right? This big hole right here and light it up with this knot. Okay? And you're going to want this right here to be facing upwards. All right? So just like this, it fits in just like that. And so you're going to want to take this knot and place it right into that hole. All right? Fits just perfectly right into that hole. All right? And after it's placed into that hole, you're going to want to take this, and then you have these two holes right here on this end and this end of the bracket. All right? See where my thumb is? On this end and this end of the bracket. And you're going to line it up with the first hole and the fifth hole. All right? The first hole on the x-axis guide and the fifth hole on the x-axis guide. Once you have those nice and lined up and you see where those holes are, all right, you want to place the screws in these little holes right here. It can be a little difficult to get in there, but just place them right in there, just like that, all right? And once you have those, line them up with those holes, you know where they are, and you just place it right on it. And then you just tighten the screws, just like this. So, you're going to want to make sure the screws on the XZ connection bracket without the motor is nice and tight. Nice and tight, both of them. Right on there. And after you have everything assembled on the X-axis guide, you're going to want to take it and pick it up and make sure these cords are running backwards. And you're going to want to take it and place it right here, right on the Z-axis guides, all right? They should fit in right there, just nice and snug. And the wheels should just go right down. It should run up and down, just like this, perfectly, all right? Make sure the cords are out of the way, and you'll just have it run all the way down to the bottom, just like that, all right? And now that you have the X-axis guide on the Z-axis guides, you're going to want to take the ball screws. You're going to take these and then you're going to want to run them right behind the z-axis guide. And there's a hole on both of the brackets that these will run through. All right? And they're going to run right down into there. And you can just screw it right in there all the way down and they're going to go screw right into the motors, the z-axis motors. All right? And it's screw right into there. All right? And it's screw right in. All right, make sure they're right in the motor. Then you have a second one. Just do the same thing. Screw it in the hole in the bracket, all the way down, right into the motor. It should just run right in there. Right in there. Make sure it's nice and snug in there. All right. Now if you make sure both are nice and snug, you're going to turn them so I can show you here. There are two screws on the motor. All right. You can see right here. There are two screws on the motor, and there's going to be two screws on both of the motors, all right? And you, how, what you're going to do with these screws is they're going to tighten the motor, right? They're going to tighten it on the ball screw, and you're going to hold the motor and make sure the ball screw is nice and tight, and you're going to do it with both of these, all right? It's nice and tight on there. So when you move the ball screw, you should just move like that, and it should actually move the x-axis guide up and down like this. And you're going to want to do the same thing on this side. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right. Once you have both of the motors 
on the screws, both nice and tight on the ball screws. You can move on to the next step. And the next step is going to be taking the bracket. It's going to lie on the top. And you're going to want to put it on the top, okay? So you see, just like with all the other brackets, we have a big hole side, we have a small hole side, all right? Just like that. So take it this way. You can see the back. Just like this, all right? You want to take, as I mentioned before, the big hole side. You want to make sure it's facing up, okay? Make sure the big hole side is facing up, all right? And you're going to line it up right here on the two holes at the top of the z-axis guide, all right? You're going to put it right here. What you want to do is take one of these four screws, put it in the top hole. Make sure it's nice and in there, all right? You can do it with all four of these holes, all right? Make sure they're nice and tight. But first, just place them in there. And then you can tighten them afterwards, all right? Make sure they're nice and lined up with the hole and tighten each one, okay? So you want to tighten each one. Make sure they're nice and tight. And then, you want to take the fixings, fixings, and on the fixings you can see that there's a special type of screw, okay? And you're going to want to be running them horizontally, alright? Horizontally. You're going to want to run them this way. So you can be able to place them along with the bracket, like this. If you have them running vertically like this, they're not going to be able to go in, alright? So first, you take this hole, you line it up with the ball screw, you have the screws running horizontally, and you place them right in there. It should go nice and snug in, just like that, all right? Nice and snug in there, all right? And once they're nice and snug in there, you're going to want to tighten them, just like this.